Support for Greater Chattanooga is provided by EPB Fiber Optics. We had the award for having the very best patient outcomes of all centers throughout the world. So if you came to Erlanger and when you were enrolled in the study and got our, our treatment, you were more likely to do better than any other center in the entire world. And that's what we've been working on here at, at Erlanger for the last 20 years. July 12th is I came to work. I work at Garden Plaza and I'm the nighttime receptionist and I remember I was talking to a resident and I felt all of a sudden I needed to sit down. I didn't feel sick. I didn't feel dizzy. I just felt weird. I didn't feel right and I knew something wasn't right. And as soon as I sat down, the resident that I was talking to said, are you okay? And I said, I don't think so. And then I couldn't talk. I remember trying to reach with my right hand, something, or just my right hand was moving and I didn't know why or, you know, I just couldn't get whatever it was I was reaching for. So she ran um, to holler at somebody. Then I remember the ambulance coming Next thing I knew, I was at Erlanger. I remember this man was like in my face. And he said, I'm sorry I have to be in your face. You know, I have to see what's going on. And he was so kind and reassuring. I remember that. And he said, you're going to be all right. And then can you just try to tell me your name? Um, thanks, honey. When you see someone, you know, people who are, they know that they're being affected by a stroke, but they can't do anything about it. They can't verbalize to you, hey, I can't move. I can't, you know, I can't do what I usually do. It's a combination of, of bewilderment and terror. It's such a devastating disease and, and uh, you know, like you know, um, you know, where this person is headed untreated. We live in an area where there's a lot of stroke patients, and so um, years ago we kind of recognized that as, hey, there's, you know, there's a, almost a, a national crisis here. Stroke is the second leading cause of death for medical reasons for the entire world. In the United States, stroke is the number one cause of adult disability, number one. And it's a disorder that affects, can affect anybody at any time, at any age. When you look back in the history of stroke, back in 1994-95 period of time, the first administration of intravenous TPA became the standard treatment. In 2015, for the first time since that period, two studies that Erlanger enrolled patients into were the leading enrollers and showed that actually going into the brain and removing the clot was more effective than just treatment with the TPA itself. Erlanger was kind of the pioneering first comprehensive stroke center in the state. When it comes to your brain, there is no medical condition that is more sensitive to time than having a stroke. If there's an interruption due to a blood clot that's blocking the blood flow, the brain's cells start dying immediately. As soon as that vessel is plugged, we're kind of on a two million neuron a minute uh, death rate. You know, so time is of the essence. Everywhere we can save hours, minutes, and seconds in treating a stroke patient is critically important. We're the only hospital that I know of that has a senior stroke neurologist that is ready in a moment's notice right around the emergency room really 24-7. We have many, many satellite small hospitals around that know what to look for on the, in these symptoms and we immediately have response. We can have these patients flown in to the hospital and get treated as soon as possible. We're working on legislation that will direct those patients into the comprehensive stroke centers in the same, and everybody across the state will get treated the same way. If you look at Chattanooga in a, as a whole, you know, there's 5,000 stroke patients a year in Chattanooga. Only half of those come to Erlanger. So you're thinking about half the stroke population 
is going to a facility where their endovascular treatment will be delayed by several hours. If you have a big clot at the base of your brain, the very best way to maximize your chance of getting better is to get that mechanically removed. And we're the only hospital that offers those services in the region. By standard of care, really, you want everybody in the public to be aware of what stroke is, and you want everybody to be aware of where the best place to go is to get those treated. The problem we have is that stroke doesn't hurt and many patients think that they've had a pulled muscle or they have twisted their neck or um, that they've leaned on their, a nerve in their arm or something. You have to look for specific symptoms where a person's speech is garbled or they can't move an extremity and it's not as clear cut as some of those things, but I think public awareness of those symptoms is key to getting the patients to us faster. The first thing that you'll notice about a here at, at Erlanger and in most comprehensive centers that when a patient's having a stroke, what they'll do is they'll come in right through the front door of the emergency room and rather than stopping in the doors, we'll go right back to CAT scan with them right away. We are able obviously through you know, very sophisticated CT uh, studies to do a, an angiogram or look at the blood vessels of the brain under CT and also get an idea of the health of the brain, how much brain may have already died and how much is at risk of dying. If you have a large clot at the base of the brain, the best way to have a good outcome in the patient is by not only giving them TPA, but also by going up through the artery in the leg and passing a catheter up into the brain directly within the blood vessel and mechanically grabbing the clot and pulling it out. The patient will go right from here directly up to the intervention suite where they'll begin the procedure. Once that catheter is up into the brain, we take pictures and we see exactly where that area of occlusion is in the brain. At that point, we can decide whether which device it is that we may think is best suited. We have uh, devices that basically work on a you know, clot aspiration or a clot sucker, and then we have uh, devices that work on kind of you know, entangling the clot in the device and then removing that if we get that blood supply back, you know, by opening the vessel, we often see, um, you know, on a regular basis, uh, those patients reversing those symptoms within minutes after our procedure. It was like 20 minutes and I was back out in ICU and I was talking and awake and I was fine. Can you tell me your name? My name is Corrine Stanton. Awesome. And, uh, this has been pioneered by Dr. Baxter and uh, by Dr. Crawford and their team here, without a doubt. The fact that we were doing this for years and years and years with the early stage devices, and we did this under a fair amount of criticism from the larger medical community. But we had a very good sense in our heart of heart what actually worked and what didn't work in terms of making patients better. Fast forward, you know, 16 plus years later, all of a sudden we've changed the world by now having a new standard of care accepted worldwide by the entire medical community. While we've made huge inroads into better outcomes with the new era of intervention theory with these clot grabbing procedures, there's a lot that we need to do. And the future looks very bright. What we have committed ourselves to do here works. And it's not about me, it's not about Blaze, it's not about Steve Crawford, it's about all the EMS, all the life force people, all the ER people, all the, the hospitalists in the hospital and the neurology team and the interventional team and many, many more, it's really a chain. And if there was any break in that chain, we would not have accomplished what we needed to accomplish. There's world-class stuff that's going on here on a daily basis. And I think this story of what this team accomplished in this city is really about the Chattanooga way. I don't think Chattanooga realizes what they have in their own gem of a city. Really, this is one of the best places in the world to be if you have a stroke. And for Chattanoogans, they should feel a sense of assurance that you know, those patients will be handled in the best possible way they could be handled anywhere in the world.
If you're a fan of Greater Chattanooga, support it. Becoming a sustaining member of WTCI is easy and affordable, and it makes a big difference. Visit greaterchattanooga.org slash donate. Thanks.